Welcome to issues related to Japan. The topic this time is the future of the imperial family is the future of Japan. Shinto tradition of the Japanese imperial family. The distinctive feature of Japan's national identity is the fact that the emperor's family has continued from generation to generation in a single lineage over about 2,700 years. We should cherish this imperial lineage. The future of the imperial family is, after all, the future of Japan. The imperial family has set the example of seeking wisdom in the world and has worked for international goodwill, but at the same time it is the very essence of Japan's Shinto tradition. We must not forget this. In the past, history was written on a country-by-country -country basis. Just as each individual goes through childhood, adolescence, and maturity, each country seemed to have a common law of development. However, the history of a country does not develop by internal forces alone. If we look at it from a comparative cultural history perspective, history also acts and develops along the axis of horizontal space between countries and between civilizations. In some cases, as in the case of European countries, they interact with each other, while in other cases they act unilaterally, as between a major central culture and a peripheral culture. Japan has maintained itself while being influenced by the Chinese culture. This was the period known as Japanese spirit, Chinese talent. A thousand years later, Japan was influenced by Western culture, but maintained itself. This is the period known as Japanese spirit, Western talent. In both cases, the entire country was not transformed into China, nor did it become a part of the West. In each case, it was the emperor's family that embodied the culture of Wa, harmony, that was central to Japan's national character. The Meiji era, 1868 to 1912, was a time of westernization in Japan. However, Shintoism has not disappeared since the time of Prince Shitoku, who introduced Buddhism to Japan. The Meiji era was the era of westernization, but the Meiji shrine, commemorating the emperor and surrounded by forests, is now a sacred place of Shinto. The modern Japanese built factories and warships, but they also built the shrine. Shinto has been refreshingly revitalized in Taisho era, 1912 to 1926, and Showa era, 1926 to 1989, in Japan. This is a precious thing. Shinto is alive and well in the inner garden of the Jingyu Shrine. Recently, the imperial family has been in trouble. Since the Meiji era, 1868 to 1912, Japan has looked to the United Kingdom as a model country, and the imperial family was also modeled after the British royal family. The British royal family was mired in scandal, and it looked as if it would never be a model for Japan. However, Queen Elizabeth resolutely refused to allow her sister, Princess Margaret, to marry when she had an illicit love affair. Learning from the British royal family. This time, she quickly disowned Prince Henry and Princess Meghan. As the head of the royal family, this is a decisive action. Our imperial family should learn from the Queen when it comes to unbecoming behavior. A serious matter such as this should not be announced at the discretion of an official of the imperial household agency. The point is that once a person's status is changed to that of a person outside of the imperial family, no matter what happens from then on, the Japanese state does not have to, or rather, must not, take any more care of the person than it does of an ordinary citizen. In layman's terms, the disowned treatment should be clarified. It would be unacceptable for arbitrary articles to appear abroad. The best thing the imperial family can do now, looking ahead, is to make the so-called confidentiality agreement a condition of marriage, in the US style. What is the true nature of the media's sentimental coverage? Is it support for the imperial system, or a ploy to undermine its foundation? Whether the monarchy is beautiful or not depends on the mindset of the people, and the imperial family. Since the beginning of the Japanese nation, the imperial family has been the embodiment of cultural tradition, supported by the Shinto sentiment hidden within the Japanese people. The weight of this history should be respected. The Japanese people believe in the eternal life of the nation under the monarchy of a single lineage of all time, and hope for the well-being of the emperor.